Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete your entire fishing decks. Now, this thing, we've gotten it completely revamped in the new Season 5. And while there is still one mystery fish out there, all of these other 39 fish have been released with the release of Season 5. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch every single one of these fish and fill your entire fishing decks except for Fish 40. Now, one thing to note here before you say, oh, you just don't have Fish 40. No, Fish 40 is not yet in the game. Contrary to some people's belief, this is not the Midas Flopper. The Midas Flopper got removed from the game in Season 5 due to the authority getting removed from the map. This has now been replaced with the zero point in the middle of the map, so most likely later in the season we will be seeing some sort of zero point fish, maybe even a Galactus fish, but we'll see as we go down the line. But for now, only these 39 fish are available, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch every single one of these fish. Let's jump right into it. Before I tell you how to catch these fish, I need to tell you guys where to catch these fish, and this is a very important point to this process. You need to do this in a battle lab. It's not a need, but it makes this process a lot easier. If you want to completely fill out your fishing decks and you're really dedicated to this, definitely do it in a battle lab because a lot of my tips in this video are going to be specific to battle labs. So while you can do this in regular games, it's going to be a lot more difficult as you're going to be constantly dying to zone, constantly dying to players. So I would definitely recommend doing this in a battle lab. So now we can jump right into catching all these fish. The first fish we have is the orange flopper. Now, this is a staple fish and has always been in the game, along with the green and blue flopper. These are all going to go into one category, and you can catch these guys literally anywhere. All you need is a basic fishing rod, and you will be able to catch these floppers incredibly easy. So, these can be caught anywhere around the map, and all you need to do is use a basic fishing rod and catch them at a fishing hole. Next, we have the shield fish category. Now, one thing to note here, if you're new to this fishing decks type stuff, then one thing to note is that these different types of colors of fish do all the same thing. Shield fish give you 50 shield back. Slurp fish give you 40 health or shield back. Small fries give you 20 health back and so on. But these fish do the exact same thing no matter what color they are. Just one thing to note before we fully dive in. So the first shield fish that we have is the black and blue shield fish. Now, this fish can be caught anywhere. Very like the floppers, you can use literally any fishing tool and it can be caught anywhere. Now we're moving on to our fifth fish, the black striped shield fish. This fish can only be caught in coastal areas, so I do have some recommendations for where to catch this if you're having some issues. My first recommendation would be to come over to Sweaty Sands. This place is amazing for catching fish as there are tons of fishing holes all around here just floating in the water. So this is a great spot to come. Along with that, you can go to these five rental houses down here if you actually look out on the full map. These spots are amazing for coastal fishing. And finally, you have dirty docks and craggy cliffs as some clean up locations. Next up, we have the green shield fish. Now, this guy can only be caught in forest areas, and there is only one forest area on the map, and this is Weeping Woods. You are going to want to come to this river that runs through Weeping Woods and then just fish in the fishing holes that you find along it. Remember, do this in a battle lab as it allows you to get infinite fishing spawns as once you run out, just leave the game and come right back in to fish some more. Next up, we have the pink shield fish. Now, this fish is the first one that requires a pro fishing rod. It can be caught anywhere, but it does require a pro fishing rod. Now, one tip to get this pro fishing rod in Battle Lab, you can no longer upgrade fishing rods. That's actually so funny. We just pulled one from one of these crates. But as you can see, when you actually smash open these crates, they have a small chance of giving you the pro fishing rod. So one recommendation I have for you is come over to Craggy Cliffs, and this building that I have marked right here has tons of different fishing rods. So just make your spawn point in the battle lab craggy cliffs and you will be able to break all of these fishing crates and then you will almost guaranteed get a pro fishing rod. Now if you don't just leave the game and come right back in and you will be able to get it on your second or third try. Next up we have the light blue shield fish. This guy can be caught anywhere and he's basically the exact same as the black and blue shield fish except he's light blue. So this guy can be caught anywhere any type of fishing rod. Good luck on catching number eight. For number nine we're starting to move into our slurp fish category. For those of you that don't know, Slurpfish restore 40 health or 40 shields, depending on what you need. 
for your actual health bar. But for the first one, we have the blue slurpfish, which very much like the floppers, can be caught anywhere with any type of fishing rod. Moving on to our yellow slurpfish. This is number 10. And this guy can only be caught in swamp area. So this is our first swamp fish. And the only spot on the map that is a swamp is actually Slurpy Swamp. So there are tons of fishing holes all around here. And again, just come into a battle lab, come on down here, and you will be able to catch this fish very easily in the swamp. Now, moving on to the purple slurpfish. This guy can be caught in mountainous areas. I said that wrong in my last fishing guide. I called it mountainous areas. It's just mountainous areas. Now, for this, you're going to want to come to my favorite spot, the fishing holes right outside of Lazy Lake. I love this spot to fish as there are tons of fishing holes around here. As you can see, I'm surrounded by them and I view some of these to fish actual fish. Now, if you run out of fishing holes here, this area also does count as a mountain area. So just come on down here once you run out of holes up top. And then once you fully run out of holes, if you still haven't caught all your fish, just reset your battle lab and hop right back in. Next up, we have the black slurpfish. This guy can only be caught in coastal areas at night. Now, one tip for these nighttime fish is probably set your battle lab to a nighttime setting. That is what I have currently. If you don't know when you're actually creating a battle lab, all you need to do is hit the settings button, and then you can change what the daytime will be in that battle lab. So change it to nighttime, and then you will be able to guaranteed catch your nighttime fish. Now, for coastal areas, if you're just skipping around the video and you haven't heard me say this yet, go on over to these five houses or sweaty sands. Those two places are amazing for coastal area fishing. Let's move on. On to our next fish. For our 13th fish, the white slurpfish, this can be caught in swamp areas at night with a pro fishing rod. I believe this fish has the most specific requirements out of all of them. So this will be one of your more difficult ones to catch. But in order to catch this, you are going to need to go to Slurpy Swamp, put your battle lab on nighttime setting just so that you can guarantee it is nighttime. And then, like I said, to get a pro fishing rod, come over to this building in Craggy Cliffs, break all of the different little fishing crates, and then you will almost guarantee get a pro fishing fishing rod from there and then come on down to slurpy swamp and get this fish now one good thing to know about the pro fishing rod is you should always be fishing with a pro fishing rod it just allows you to catch all of these pro fish and also you can catch fish that don't require a pro fishing rod so there's literally no reason to not fish with a pro fishing rod now we are moving on to our small fry category with fish number 14, the light blue small fry. Now this guy can be caught anywhere except you cannot use a fishing hole. So what I mean by that is you literally just need to throw your fishing rod in the water and then once it bobs, you need to pull it up. And as you can see, I just caught a small fry. So for the first one, the light blue small fry, this guy can be caught anywhere. Remember, do not use a fishing hole for this guy. For the second one, the tan small fry, number 15, this guy can also also be caught anywhere. Remember, do not use a fishing hole for these. Just fish in the open water as it will allow you to actually catch the small fries. For number 16, we have our purple top small fry. Now, this guy can also be caught anywhere. There are actually three of the small fries that can be caught anywhere. This guy, remember, do not fish in the fishing hole. Just fish in the open water. I keep repeating myself on that just if anyone is trying to skip around the video going to a specific fish. Sorry for repeating myself so much. Now, the black small fry does actually have some requirements to catching it. You must catch it at night. So, like I said earlier, to make sure that you are guaranteed that it is nighttime, go into a battle lab, put it on a nighttime setting, and then go anywhere and just fish without a fishing hole, remember, just fish in the water, and then you will be able to catch the black small fry. Now, the blue small fry can only be caught in coastal areas. So, come over to an area like these five rental houses or sweaty sands, as these two spots are both amazing, and make sure you're in in your battle lab and not fishing in the fishing holes just fish in the open water and you will eventually catch the blue small fry for the next category, we have the thermal fish. Now, these are our legendary fish. So they are theoretically the rarest, but honestly, I seem to find a lot of them. So our first one, the purple and orange thermal fish can be caught anywhere. It is exactly like a flopper, except with lower catch rate, obviously, because it's legendary. So you're going to literally go anywhere for this fish. Make sure you're fishing in a fishing hole. If you use a pro fishing rod, it will increase your odds for this. So make sure you're using a pro fishing rod and you will catch this in no time. For our fish 20, the green and 
thermal fish, you are going to need to catch this one in forest areas. Again, I would recommend using a pro fishing rod for all of these thermal fish, as it just increases your chances of actually catching them. But for this one, you're going to want to come on down to Weeping Woods, catch it along this river, and then you will be able to catch it in a forest area. Remember, this is the only forest area on the map, and there are not that many fishing spots along the river, so you may need to reset your battle lab a few times in order to do this one. For the next one, we have the Silver Thermal Fish. Now, for this one, it can be caught anywhere, but requires a pro fishing rod. So, to get a pro fishing rod in Battle Lab, for those of you that are skipping around and haven't heard me say this like three times now, since you can no longer upgrade your items at upgrade stations, you're going to want to come over to Craggy Cliffs, go to this building, and there are tons of fishing crates there, and then just break all of them and hope you get a pro fishing rod. If you don't, reset your Battle Lab and try it a few times until you get a pro fishing rod, and then just travel around the map catching all of your pro fishing rod fish. So basically, to recap, Silver Thermal Fish can be caught anywhere as long as you have your pro fishing rod and you are fishing inside fishing holes. For our second to last thermal fish, we have the Raven Thermal Fish. Now, I know a ton of people had difficulties catching this one last season, so you might have difficulties catching this one, but do not give up. This one can only be caught in coastal areas with a pro fishing rod. So, like I said, go to Craggy Cliffs, come to this house, and break all of these fishing boxes, and you will eventually get a pro fishing rod. And then, come on down to Sweaty Sands, just because it's a little bit closer than these five houses, and then you will be able to catch your Raven Thermal Fish at Sweaty Sands, as that is a coastal area. And remember, use your pro fishing rod. Now we're going to be moving on to our 23rd fish, the final one in the thermal fish section, and then we are going to be getting on to the new fish in the flopper decks. But for this one, it is the red and green thermal fish. Now to catch this one, you need to come down to a forest area. So Weeping Woods is the only forest area on the map, and you are going to just need a normal fishing rod. A pro fishing rod will increase your chances of catching this fish, but if you want to do it the really hard way, then just do it with a normal fishing rod. Come to this river, and then there are a bunch of fishing holes around here. If you run out out of them remember leave the battle lab come right back into it and then you will be able to start from the top for our 24th fish, we have our Tiger Zero fish. Now, this is our first new fish in the new season, and I will be going over what these fish do very quickly. So, basically, what these Zero fish do is that when you eat one, I have one in my inventory right here. So, as I eat the Zero Point fish, when I actually consume it, I get these little particles around me. Now, you may not know what to do with these because when you swing your pickaxe, shoot a weapon, it doesn't do anything. What you need to do is double jump midair, and it will actually teleport you forward a short distance. Now, this is great for getting around the map. Great for navigating build battles, as if you are on low ground and you just look up, you can actually teleport to that high ground. The fish ran out right as I was doing that, but you can just teleport around into open area with this fish. I just wanted to cover what that is before we actually get into where to catch it. So now that you know what the zero fish actually does, let's get into the tiger zero fish. Now the 24th fish in our fishing decks, the tiger zero fish can be caught in coastal areas with any type of fishing rod. Again, using a pro fishing rod will increase your chances of catching these, but to catch a fish in a coastal area, I would recommend going to Sweaty Sands or these five houses down here as they all have very good fishing spots in order to catch these coastal fish. Moving on to our 25th fish, we have the Leafy Zero Fish. Now, this fish can only be caught in forest areas. So again, the only forest area on the map is actually Weeping Woods. So just come on down here and come to this river and catch along it for a little bit until you run out of fishing holes. And then once you do, reset your battle lab and come right back in to finish catching your leafy zero fish. Moving on to our next zero fish, we have the crimson zero fish. Now, this one can only be caught in the mountainous areas. So, again, come to my favorite fishing spot on the map right next to Lazy Lake. This spot is amazing for fishing. Tons of fishing holes around it, and along with that, once you run out of these, you can actually still come down here to the lake right above Misty Meadows, and this still counts as a mountain area. Now, moving on to the skull zero fish, the myth fish, the young architect fish. Now, this fish can only be caught in swamp areas, so basically what you're going to want to do is come over to Slurpee Swamp and fish in any of these areas around it. If there's a fishing hole and the water looks swampy, I know that's kind of by discretion, but if you're in this area, then it will be swampy, so come on down here. Use any type of fishing rod. Remember, pro fishing rod will increase your chances, but come on down here, and you will eventually catch the Skull Zero Fish. Now, next up, we have the Crystal Zero Fish. Now, this is basically the flopper of the Zero Fish. It can be caught anywhere with any type of fishing rod, so just go 
go on to a fishing hole and you will eventually catch a crystal zero fish. Next up, we have the slurp jellyfish. Now this one is not new with the new season, but basically these are chug splashes that you can throw to teammates and yourself. So basically the first one is just a standard slurp jellyfish. Now this one can be caught anywhere on the map. It is like a flopper of the jellyfish. I'm going to make that analogy every time, but you can catch this guy with any type of fishing rod. It does not matter if it's pro or standard. Just go to any fishing hole around the map and you will eventually catch a slurp a jellyfish. Next up, we have the peely jellyfish. Now this guy actually has two separate requirements. First one is to go to a mountainous area and use a pro fishing rod to catch the peely jellyfish. So basically what you're going to want to do is grab a pro fishing rod from craggy cliffs. Like I've said before, come to this house, break all of these fishing crates and you will get a pro fishing rod eventually. And then come on down here to the lakes right outside of lazy lake or to this one right above misty meadows. And you will be in a mountain area with a pro fishing rod and you'll eventually catch your peely jellyfish. Now moving on to our final row of fish. Next we have the purple jellyfish. This guy can only be caught in coastal areas with any type of fishing rod. So what you're going to want to do is come over to sweaty sands or these five houses down here as both have very good fishing spots and both are coastal areas. And you'll just want to fish away for a little bit until you catch your purple jellyfish. Next up, we have the Dark Vanguard Jellyfish. Again, a lot of people struggled to catch this fish last season. I don't know if its odds are just lower than the others, but this one you can only catch at night. You can technically catch it anywhere with any type of fishing rod. So what you're going to want to do is come into your battle lab, except make the setting nighttime so that that way it will always be nighttime and you can guarantee yourself that no matter where you're fishing in your fishing holes, you will have a shot at catching the Dark Vanguard Jellyfish. Our final jellyfish is the Cuddle Jellyfish. This one can only be caught in swamp areas. So again, come on down to Slurpee Swamp, go to any of the fishing holes surrounding it, and you will eventually catch the Cuddle Jellyfish. Now we are moving on to our last category of fish, the Rift Fish. Now this is a new one to the new season, so I'm going to quickly go over what they do. I actually have two in my inventory here, and as you can see, eat this when you'd rather be somewhere else. So if we go ahead and we eat one of our Rift Fish, it is a Rift to go. So we actually get teleported into the sky, and then we can fly right back down or fly wherever we want. But these things are very useful to get around the map, and your team can actually use it as it does leave a temporary rift behind you so these things are very good for rotations and just getting around the map and just playing the game in general so that is what the rift fish do so now that we know what they actually do let's look at where we can find them the volcanic rift fish can only be found in mountainous areas now as i have said for every single one of these my favorite mountain area is lazy lake come to this area right next to it and all of these fishing holes are in a mountain area and if you run out of fishing holes here go on down to the area right above misty meadows and you'll eventually catch your volcanic rift fish. Our second rift fish is the standard one. This is the butterfly rift fish. This is analogous to the flopper. It can be caught anywhere, any type of fishing rod. Again, pro fishing rod will increase your chances, but if you want to do this with the standard fishing rod, that will work as well. Just go to any fishing hole and you will eventually catch the butterfly rift fish. Now, our next rift fish is the black spotted rift fish. This one can be caught anywhere except only at night. So again, to do this, just come into a battle lab and set your setting to only nighttime and then you will eventually catch it after you're fishing in just any of the standard fishing holes. Our penultimate rift fish is the sandstorm rift fish. Now this one has two requirements and basically what you need to do is having pro fishing rod and catch it in a coastal area. So again, if you haven't heard me say this like five times already, if you need a pro fishing rod, go to craggy cliffs, just break all of the fishing barrels in there and you will eventually get a pro fishing rod. Now this is because the upgrade stations have gotten vaulted and you can't use the NPCs in battle lab. So go Go over there and then just get your pro fishing rod and then from there you're going to want to go to a coastal area so i would recommend sweaty sands this is just closer to craggy cliffs so then come to sweaty sands fish in those fishing spots and you will catch the sandstorm rift fish our final rift fish is the galactic rift fish now this fish can be caught anywhere with a pro fishing rod so again to get a pro fishing rod come over to craggy cliffs Go to this house, break all of the fishing barrels. If you don't get one on your first try, restart the battle lab and you will eventually get one. And then just fish anywhere in any of the fishing holes and you will eventually catch a Galactus Rift fish. Now our final fish that we have available to us is the Vendetta Flopper. Now this guy can be caught anywhere with a pro fishing rod, but 
his catch rate is quite low. I believe it's only 1%. It might be even lower than that, but he's really useless in game. He only reveals one nearby enemy and literally bounties do that now. So this thing is completely useless. It's literally just to get for your flopper decks. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I hate this fish, but you can catch this guy anywhere with a pro fishing rod. So again, go over to Craggy Cliffs in your battle lab, break all of those fishing things, and you'll eventually get a pro fishing rod. Now, like I said earlier, Fish 40 has not been released yet, and we are still waiting for an update for what this fish is going to be. If you're watching this video when the Fish 40 has actually come out, just take that into consideration that this video was actually made before the 40th fish came out in season five so this is how to catch every single one of your fish in fortnite chapter two season five if you guys found this helpful please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton i put a ton of effort into this video so it would mean a ton if you shared it with a friend as well who needs help on their fishing decks so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one